Hi Taurus. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. So may or may not resonate with every Taurus watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies vice versa, right? And if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. Okay. All right, Taurus, things look pretty good right now with the King of Pentacles as your overall energy. This is a lot of stability coming in, okay? Stability, security, longevity, long term, okay? Money looks good for you guys, for sure. I think in the past year, there was something that was moving very, very slow, okay? A situation was probably stuck and stagnant or there was just someone who was moving very slow towards you with something stable, something committed. Right now, I feel there is, uh, you guys, there is a lot of love here between you guys, okay? But there's there seems to be a little bit of disconnection, okay? You guys could have been break, I mean, there could have been a break, a separation between you guys. I'm almost getting you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now, okay? If this hasn't happened, I mean, it's coming into the current situation, okay? And if it's happened, then you know where you are in the timeline. In the near future, we do have the Ten of Cups, which is unhappily ever after, okay? This is commitment. This is the ultimate emotional fulfillment card, okay? However, I see you as someone who's still in two minds about taking a risk with this person, okay? Because you probably have trust issues. This person could have damaged you in the past. You could have gone through hell and back with this person. But yeah, you're doubting this new beginning here. That's what I'm getting. It's a lot of self-doubt. I mean, you, you're having a little bit of difficulty in getting this thing off ground. But what's coming into your environment is someone, uh, something's, there's quick communication coming in. If this is not communication, this is definitely someone who's living at a distance. If not, I'm feeling that the situation is going to pick up really, really fast. Okay, this is being lightning speed, like fast paced. Okay, but um, see with the king of pentacles, right? That's definitely someone coming in with stability, security. Or this is just you who's wanting to offer someone else. Or this is just you focusing on yourself. But because I'm seeing the two of cups and ten of cups here, this is definitely a relationship coming in for you or you're offering this to someone. Okay, but the person you're dealing with, right? They're going to take some time before they're ready for this, okay? Maybe this person does show you that they, yes, I mean, things are okay with you guys. But I think they're still doubting it. Because probably you were very slow moving or things were very slow and they had no trust that things will happen. Probably they were in like um, two minds if things were moving forward with you. Okay, because that's a very uh, slow moving energy. This is almost like stagnant, stuck, okay? Because the horse isn't even moving there. We'll see why the page of pentacles is in reverse in the in the outcome that's like procrastination okay someone's probably waiting for everything to fall in the right place and then wanting to take action but yeah we'll see what's the king of pentacles magician in reverse you could be dealing with someone who is a little bit of manipulative or there's this manipulation around okay but you could definitely be dealing with someone who you had a lot of past regret with but this is someone who um who manipulated in the past who was always wearing a false mask or someone you always thought was very deceptive and like they had like a way around you you know they always knew what to say they always said the right things they said the right words you know someone very good looking very charming okay you can't just make out if this person's making a fool out of you or if they're really genuine but i feel this is someone who was once single someone who never wanted commitment but i think this time coming around this is someone who's definitely okay with being in a relationship more than okay what's the magician in reverse and what they have to offer to you is something stable who's the magician in reverse what's the magician in reverse you could be dealing with someone who probably didn't uh, have that faith or didn't have that courage or didn't take action towards you, okay? They always thought that, I mean, they always doubted themselves. I mean, the magician is someone who creates magic, right? This person has all the will, the skill, the willingness to make things happen. But the point is, are you willing to make it happen? They have the ability, but do they have the capability which is putting it into action? What's the magician in reverse? the magician in reverse but i think someone's ready to be in a relationship with you what's the magician in reverse see king of swords there is clarity coming in this person there are two kings here so yeah the, the, this person okay i'm not getting two people here i'm getting this as one person this is someone who's ready to offer you not only stability and commitment but also they're coming in with a very clear head out here okay This person is ready to work with you. They're ready to build. 
they're ready to work on a structure with you this is let's build let's talk okay wanting to put in their effort wanting to be consistent with you wanting to this is no more longer going to be a one-sided situation okay probably in the past i'm seeing someone one person who did all the work okay and the other person was pressurized to you know pull their uh, partner with them okay but now it's like no more it's going to be a balanced relationship the magician in reverse doesn't look to me anything bad as such it's only someone who's doubting themselves if they can make this happen but they're coming in with a clear mind they're coming with a clear mind okay what's the knight of pentacles in the past Ace of Pentacles. See, yeah, see, that's why there was a delay in a brand new beginning. This is a missed opportunity or a delay because someone had a lot of self doubt. We have this self doubt here too in your emotions, hopes, or fears. That's why probably there was a breakup between you guys, okay? This is someone who could not get things off ground or they were just not sure if it's the right time or someone needed more time. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Why the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Yep, like I said, this is someone who you, you probably wanted an equal give and take. You wanted reciprocity, but there was someone who was giving you the bare minimum. Not only were they giving you the bare minimum, this was someone who was moving super slow towards you, okay? Could be someone who had trust issues, okay? This person probably is not someone who likes to just take that leap of faith. Someone who's, but could also be someone who's not a risk taker, okay? Very impulsive, reckless, but that's what you wanted. You wanted that balanced uh, relationship. You wanted to get what you deserve, okay? You wanted to get what they own you. But there was a missed opportunity or a delay because this person was just a slow moving, okay? Maybe they were taking their own time. What I like about the Knight of Pentacles is that it's slow moving, right? But it always reaches its goal. What's the Two of Cups in reverse? Why the Two of Cups in reverse? What's this disconnection about? Why the Two of Cups in reverse? Queen of Cups in reverse. This person hurt you. Now you're shut off. You're shut off emotionally. You probably wanted higher levels of commitment with this person. You wanted to move forward with this person. You were very, very willing and determined to do it. But probably this person made you felt neglected or probably you didn't know where you stand in this person's life. But right now, you're shut down. You're not giving uh, this person your emotions. This is unconditional love, right? But now your love has some conditions. Okay, it's like either I get what I want or then it's a big fat no. Not on the same page right now, but yeah, someone's definitely giving this a more logical approach. I'm getting someone who's wanting to love themselves now. The Queen of Cups is an energy who loves other people first, who doesn't put her own needs first. She puts the other person's needs first. This time, someone's being selfish. Selfish in a good way where, okay, you know what? I focused on you enough. Now it's time for me to focus on me. What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? The Two of Cups in reverse is also an imbalance, okay? What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? Why is she in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups the same? Yeah, someone felt unsupported. They felt they took the entire burden of the relationship. Could be an ending of a long-term commitment or there was just a lack of commitment or a lack of stability within your relationship, okay? Like I said, one of you could be wanting marriage, but your connection was just not being able to reach that point of stability, that security, marriage, okay? Whatever. But yeah, someone felt overburdened and they were like, you know what, if I'm the only one who's going to take the entire load of the relationship, it's really not worth it. And they walked away. And they stopped giving, they stopped feeding this connection. Because that's a very draining energy, right? This is someone who has released the burden or ready to release the burden of this relationship. This relationship was more of a burden than emotional happiness. What's the Ten of Cups? What's the Ten of Cups? Looks like you releasing them made them come back to you. Ten to tenfold is what I'm getting. What's the Ten of Cups? See, this is someone who's coming in with the Five of Wands. Yeah, this person's, I think, it's more like ready to fight for you. What's the Five of Wands? That's strife, right? But that is conflict, but that's strife too, right? That's so wanting to fight competition. That's wanting to fight for this connection. What's the Five of Wands? nine of pentacles this person realizes your worth your value okay once you let them go they've come they're coming out of stagnation if someone's put you on hold for a very long time this person has taken their own time after this long period of break right they've done a lot of self-reflection um they've tried to see things from a different point of view they've got to gain a new perspective and they're ready to release themselves or they're uh, it's like unstuck you know someone who's being unstuck 
from that stagnant energy and they're ready to see things from a new point of view okay and which is your point of view and they realize that yeah in the past they screwed over okay they screwed up and they should have contributed as much as you did but they chose to give you the bare minimum okay but yeah they realize that you're okay on your own and they're ready to fight for this okay they see you in good light they see your self-worth they realize that uh, you're very independent you're financially independent you're okay on your own you're realizing uh, you're working on your financial abilities and um you're very goal focused also but at the same time you're having a have a good, good life you're focused on everything but them and now they're ready to come in and they're ready to fight for this you're the one who's in doubt here probably because you've given this person a lot of chances in the past and now you're like i don't know i mean if i should trust this or probably this is something with the end of cups you're something too good to be true and that's why you're in this energy i mean you you're probably even surprised like dude seriously you were fighting with me all this time and now you want to fight for me i don't know why the fool in reverse there is a new beginning for you you see it right but you're very hesitant on moving forward why <laughs> the hierophant okay so two things you do see this connection as something that is meant to be or this could be you who's already in another long-term commitment okay what's the hierophant or probably you've learned your lessons and your lessons are, are literally telling you like seriously you still want to do this what's the hierophant what's the hierophant what is the hierophant king of pentacles in reverse yeah you're being greedy right now because there's been a lot of past disappointment a lot of crying over spilt milk you're still in that energy you're still regretting and wanting and thinking about what happened in the past what went wrong still investing your energies into something that's already over and gone with you're not ready to move forward and look at um new opportunities that could be available the five of cups to me is also not the eight of cups right there's still something left all is not lost okay there's still hope for this connection but it's your attitude out here okay i'm literally thinking you're not sure if you still want to commit to the, commit you could be very committed in the past or you could be wanting commitment in the past but right now you're not sure you're very hesitant i'm getting you as someone who was just wanting to take the risk you would didn't really have that fear you know you weren't afraid of what's going to happen next but now because you've gone through this cycle with this person probably a lot of times a lot of false starts and now you're like i don't know if i want to do this again am i going to land up in the same negative pattern am I, is this going to land up the same way that it did the last few times you're thinking about wanting this commitment with this person and right now you're more focused on your goals your career okay you're being a little greedy i'm getting someone who's holding back okay from the stability what's the eight of wands and the environment that taurus doesn't keep coming what's the eight of wands What's the eight of wands? What's this eight of wands? Say, this is someone who's hell bent and very, very willing and determined to make things happen. Someone who you had a lot of false starts with. I'm telling you, this person's coming in with something solid. They want the ten of cups. They're coming in with that happiness. You're the one who doesn't want to believe it. Eight of wands, Jerry. That's forward movement, dude. That's willingness, determination. I'm gonna make this happen, no matter what happens. What's the chariot? Could be could be someone who's living a say. I can't make this up, right? Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to build with you. This is something committed. This is something where now they're ready to commit. Now they're ready to open up. Now they're ready to build with you. Like let's talk. Let's let's have a serious conversation about how we can take this to the next level. This is progress. And you have someone very very willing to do this. Okay, make this happen. But okay, like I said, right? This is someone you walked away from. This person wants a reconciliation. No mind games, no mind fuckery, none of it at all. Okay, they're ready to drop their weapons, and they're ready. They already are coming towards you. They want. They want to stop the manipulation and the mind games because they realized it was empty victory. Right? They didn't really get anything. All they got is you walked away. Yep. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Why are you doubting this so much? What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Or you probably think there's something that needs more time. there's some more research to do or you just feel you're not ready for this probably because it's all happening like really quick you weren't expecting this space of pentacles in reverse three of swords in reverse you need time to heal from this situation 
probably even want a reconciliation, but you need time to re- heal from the situation. Are the four of wands in reverse here? Either you shut the door on this person's face in the past, or you need to end another commitment, another marriage. If you are married, another marriage or another long-term family situation before you get into this. Or you're just not sure about taking action. What's the three of swords in reverse? Hangman, now you're stuck. First they were stuck, now you're stuck with this. You're having a hard time wanting to see things from their point of view. Again, being a little stubborn about your ways. See, seven of wands. I'm getting you being very, very guarded. Like, I don't know about this, you know. You want to think ten times before you get into this. Like, is this worth it? Do I really want to risk my emotions with this person again? Again, the magician in reverse could also be someone who you um, view as, perceive as someone manipulative. But they're coming in with clarity. If you want to give this another shot. You're stuck. You're having a hard time seeing things from this person's point of view. Or you're having a hard time trying to see that this person's changed and this person's definitely coming towards you as something stable. Because they could have been very resistant towards this commitment for a very long time, okay? You're exhausted. You're exhausted and you gave up, right? For you, it was like the end of a long time ago. And now that they're coming in, you're like, ah, I mean, I, that's too good to be true. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? See, seven of wands. Yeah, I definitely see you as this, still procrastinating as the likely outcome, okay? The page of pentacles in reverse is someone who has all the skills, abilities, right? But again, they're making th- you're making things harder than it seems. Why? Because you're very, very guarded. You have your guards up with this person. Five of cups, do it. Come on, get over it. They're coming in with good intentions. They are. You're the one who's not being able to budge or still holding on to past regret. What's the seven of wands? What's the seven of wands? What is the seven of wands? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Again, you're doubting this. You're doubting this a lot. I'm getting someone who's still not... Again, you know what? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I got the Four of Wands in reverse. A Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles. Again, I'm getting someone who's already in another commitment, okay? And someone literally needs to fight for this connection. Till then... Till then... This is not going to be able to uh, be upright. This is where there is a potential, right? But some, I feel someone is stuck in another marriage or stuck in another commitment. That's why it's, it's being, it's, it's, things are more difficult. That's why this person is constantly procrastinating, okay? I feel someone needs to fight this connection. I'm getting one person is very determined, like I said, wanting to fight for this. But there could be someone here in the entire scenario who's already taken, someone who's already locked down. Could be both of you, could be one of you, right? But someone needs to get out of another um, long-term commitment or a connection in order for this to be pursued, okay? But regardless, they're coming in, guys. They're coming with good intentions. You're the one who's got to be the risk taker, yeah? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.